Hello everyone, today we are going to take a drive round central Edinburgh and heading down towards Leith. How are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and well out there. We haven't done a drive for a while um, and it's probably a good time for you to see it. It's it's uh, obviously the, it's the last week of the festival, it ends in a couple of days. We are about at rush hour right now so it's probably good for you to see how busy the roads are. It's going to be a slow drive. Um, uh, we're going to start off in Charlotte Square, which is where I am right now, right at the West End. I can't really drive along George Street, because if any of you watched last week's video, you'll know that um, halfway along there is the assembly on George Street, where they've, they, they've made a beer garden and taken up the street, so I can't drive along that way. So we'll go up Lothian Road, we'll cut down into the Grass Market, along the Cowgate. Um, I can't drive up the Royal Mile. I just can't, um, because obviously the Royal Mile is happening. Um, and then we'll try to double back on ourselves and head down uh, the bridges, go over the top of the Royal Mile if we can, maybe down the mound. I'm, I'm making this up as I go, can you tell? Down the mound, back to George Street, over George Street, down to Queen Street. And then we'll head along to the top of Leith and head down Leith Walk because there's so much tram works there. We'll go down as far as we can. I will try to go down all the way. If we need to take a detour, then we'll take a detour. But it's good for you to see how it's coming along for those of you who are interested in the tram works. And um, and yeah, and, and we'll take a drive down Leith Walk and we'll, and we'll finish up in Leith somewhere. How does that sound? Yeah? Let's go for a drive. Here we go, Charlotte Square, where we're starting today. How is that view? Is that okay? Looks okay to me. Let's go for a drive. So this is all Charlotte Square right now. You can see um, there's no parking on it right now. It says that they're doing something, but it's been like this for a little while. I've no idea what. It is rush hour traffic. So you can see right now, traffic is queued there. That's the west end of Princess Street, and we're already, already hitting traffic. And this is what it's like sometimes. We're going to move maybe about 50 metres, and then we're going to stop again. Okay, we have got through there. We're heading down now Charlotte Street, or South Charlotte Street. We're going to hit Princess Street for just... Actually, I might go into this lane. Hit Princess Street for just... A moment or two before we then turn up left up Lothian Road. There we go. Traffic seems to be moving a little bit now, which is nice. So here we go. We're going to go right. We're on Princess Street very, very briefly here right now. West End Art Fair, uh, Art and Craft Fair on the left hand side of us there. That big ball of fire in the sky that you can see, that's the sun. Not something we see a lot here, but yep, yep, that's it. That's it. Take a picture. Take a picture. It's recorded. We have it. Um, so here we go. Left up Lothian Road. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Waldorf Astoria Caledonian Hotel on our right hand side. That is the the pinkish, sort of orangey pinky building, sandstony building that you can see there. Beautiful hotel, way too expensive for my blood. Um, this part here at this time of day, this road is always really busy. So it's going to be a stop and start as we head up here. And hopefully once we get past here, because we are coming to the end of rush hour, it'll start to quieten down a little bit. But we're still going to hit a little bit of traffic and that's okay. Okay, so we have been here actually a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, this sort of area, just by chance. Um, and on the right hand side we have, coming up, I don't know if you can see it, just, just on the right hand side, uh, should be in the corner of your screen, is the Lady Boys of Bangkok. Left hand side there we have NQ4, which is a arcade pub which I'm itching to go into. And also the Cali Picture House, which if you haven't seen the video where I did the, um, and now it's a pub, we've done that one. It's a great 
story, that building, the various things it's been. So definitely go check out that one. I'll leave a link in the corner in the description. And we're moving. I'm not expecting us to be moving far, but we are moving. Hopefully you can see now the lady boys on the right hand side there. Left hand side we'll have the Usher Hall in a second or two. Not that you'll really be able to see it. It's a beautiful night here in town right now. We've been very lucky this festival weather wise. Normally you can place money on it raining during the festival, but not this year. Now as you'll probably start to notice around town, it's kind of hidden by that car just then. But you will start to notice overflowing waste receptacles. We're going to go left here, by the way. That's the audience cinema on the right-hand side, and we're going to go left. But yes, you will start to see overflowing waste receptacles. And by that, I mean bins, rubbish bins, down the side of the street. And that's because um, for just under a week, just under a week, um, the rubbish collectors have been on strike um, and it is unbelievable how quickly during the festival that rubbish started to pile up we're talking like a day two days and it was already a massive amount um, so it just shows how much work these guys actually do because it was it was ridiculous how quickly it built up um, and it just shows how good a job that these guys do okay for those of you following on a map because I know a lot of you like to follow on a map we're on Bread Street right now and we are going to head down towards the grass market unfortunately I did turn us into more traffic Lothian Road probably would have gradually got quieter but this part here is quite a quite a bottleneck yeah you can see here that the traffic's quite busy so this gives you a good idea you know what it's like if any of you are, I know that a few of you reached out to me and said what is it like driving in Edinburgh um, and this is what it's like this is what it can be like quite a lot of the time chock-a-block busy and not moving very fast three ways of saying the same thing so again we've managed to move another 10 feet or so you can see just on the left hand side one of the sightseeing buses okay we are starting to move and turns out it wasn't the traffic there was some sort of march i'm not sure what it was for but we're moving now so we're heading down towards the grass market now this is us just leaving westport and this will lead us right into the grass market and you can see traffic's moving a lot better now Truthfully, it should be quieter now. At this time of day, we should be hoping that the traffic has calmed down. I think we just got unfortunate with that um, march that went past us there. You can see the street signs are still up for all the, the shows. They will probably be down very shortly. Look at all those beautiful buildings as we head into the grass market. Okay, there we go, look. The traffic is a clearing ahead of us. This is us heading to the grass market. This is the Mason de Moggy, the cat cafe on our left hand side. Now it's still going to be busy, but hopefully not as busy as it was. So you can't see it, but on the left hand side there is the castle. This is us heading through the grass market. We're going to go down and go through the cow gate which should take us past the new virgin hotel past a few venues past three sisters we'll head down towards oh actually no we won't we won't we'll go up past the pleasance which i think is probably not somewhere we've headed past this year so we'll have a look see how busy that is and then we will head back into the center of town and see if we can get somewhere past the grass market. Not the grass market, we're in the grass market. <laughs> somewhere past the Royal Mile, which would then lead us nicely to the mound and then head us towards Leith. You can see it's busy though. You can see how many people are around about me. Well, hopefully when we start passing some venues, you can see how busy it is. So, 
let's leave the grass market on the right hand side there that would make us up take us up Candlemaker Road but we can't go that way it's a one-way street looks like both lanes are open here now so that's the new Virgin Hotel on the left hand side some of it's open some of it's not and there we go underneath the bridges here underbelly with the venue on both sides of the road and then we get up to the Three Sisters here which is also a venue a lot of free fringe in there if you want to go see some free shows which is always great if you're short on a bit of cash um, you just need to watch something and then pay as much as you can afford to pay or as how, how much you think it deserves it's a great way to see some shows and see some up and coming acts as well brew dog on the right hand side pillars covered in posters on the left hand side there and actually on the left hand side there we have the harry potter themed inspired escape rooms is probably the best way to put it okay right hand side we're going by stromash which is uh, always a good night out left hand side would take us up to that's blair street heading towards hunter square and the right hand side we just passed the house of god's hotel Nidri Street, beside that pub on the left hand side, beside Barrowman's, which is where Old Ricky Tours is, which could take you into um, the vaults underneath the city. And then there's new venues on the right hand side as well. Truthfully, like I said though, everything becomes a venue. Everything becomes a venue. What's funny though, is we could do this drive in a week, in exactly one week time, and it will be dead. So, we're going to turn right up here. Now oh, there's some police on horseback. Mounted police. Um, but yeah, we're going to go up to the right hand side, up the Pleasance, up past the Pleasance, see how busy that is. And then we will be able to double back. I don't want to spook the horses. up past the Pleasance here. This is the Flodden Wall on the right hand side of us. One of my favourite videos to make when we trace the route of the Flodden Wall. I wish I could delete it from my brain and do it again because I had an absolute ball doing that. There's the Pleasance Courtyard. Busy as always. Great place to just go out and hang out in there it's a lovely spot just to sit chill have a couple of drinks catch up with friends now we are going to go right in a little bit if i can figure out the best way to go which will then take us back towards the center of town this is a new venue coming up on the left hand side just the tonic we were there actually just a few nights ago went to see uh, past Scottish Memories guest, Craig Hill, who was hysterical. Very funny. Okay. We're leaving sort of most of the venues now as we head, we we'll continue up Pleasance here. I am going to turn right in a minute or two and hope that we can head back into town. Okay, just in case anyone's wondering where we are, if you're following, we are on St. Leonard Street now. And if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky we're going to go right here, which will hopefully, I, I'm hoping it's not a dead end. Because there's so many streets now that are dead ends or one ways that sometimes it's hard to keep track. But this should hopefully head us back into town in the right direction. bike past. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go straight over just in case you're wondering. I'm on uh, Bernard Terrace right now. We're going to go straight over then we're going to go right which will take us alongside the meadows. If I was to go straight right now I would hit the meadows. Um, you can kind of tell we're pointing the same direction that we started because you can see you can see the faint outline of the sun. How nice does that look? Just the silhouette of the buildings, though. 
even though I know you've got a big pink van in front of you, it's still beautiful. The city is, even at its worst, it still shines through. Okay, we're crossing South Clark Street. And we're gonna go right here. Okay, so when we can, we're gonna go right. This should take us on to Hope Park Crescent. There we go, let me go, thank you very much, sir. Okay, look at this, look at this. Cleared the traffic. So yeah, this is us heading up Hope Park Crescent here. Now we're gonna go kind of around the side of Assembly Gardens and things. Um, you can see that's why it's getting kind of busier, people leaving there. I mean, busier in a, a foot traffic kind of a way. Look at the buildings, just look at the buildings. If I went to the left here, that would take me to the back end, literally right behind the university where Assembly Gardens and, and everything is. So, again, if I turned left onto this street, here by the traffic light, I'd be literally at the start of Assembly uh, George Square and, and then right beside Gilded Balloon and Underbelly and things. We're not going to do that though. We're going to try to head past Greyfriars, quickly go over the top of the Royal Mile and then head down the mound and then head towards Leith. And then we'll start to drive down Leith Walk. So you've got a, a kind of look at how busy the centre of town is right now. We've had a fair journey right now, but we are not finished. No, 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 we're not finished. However, I will say, we are hitting every set of traffic lights today. Gilded Balloon were in there as well. That's the back end of the museum there. This is going to be another stoppy starty bit, my friends. We are really stopping and starting right now, not moving fast at all with the traffic. We are now on TV at Place. Uh, we managed to go to TV at Place Road. And we're through, we're through. Like I said, that was just two bottlenecks of traffic from two different areas all coming together and it just makes it awful that bit. Okay, so this will take us back up towards the Royal Mile now. I'm always curious when I come down this end of town now because I did used to, in my younger days, frequent a pub in this area which has been shot and remade a couple of times since then. Um, so I'm always intrigued to see what it is now. Lots of people wandering about with frozen margaritas in their hands. Somewhere is obviously, obviously selling frozen margaritas. Here we go, we're moving. Moving right along, bubba dum, bubba dum. Anyone remember? Name the film. Name the film. Okay. So left hand side, that would take us out. That is Candlemaker Row. We've been at the bottom of that road. We passed it already. And then once again, we hit the lights. I've hit every set of traffic lights. Now, in a moment, we're going to cross over where the grass market turns into the cow gate, which is right here. So we've already drove underneath ourselves where we are so we've went in a big circle one big circle this is us heading up towards the royal mile we're going to cross over the royal mile and head down the mound and head towards leith and we'll take a drive around uh, down uh, leith walk just so you can get a look and see what it's like so that's us crossing over the royal mile that's as much as we can do the royal mile that was it, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> now we're heading down the mound. 
we'll cross over Princess Street again, which we've done already, and then we'll head towards Leith. Look at the sky! Look at the sky! Sorry, I know the state of Leith Walk right now with the, um, what do you call it? Oh, what's the word? Tram works that are going on right now, so. But hey, that's the that's the longest bit of driving we've done without a set of traffic lights. He says that and the traffic works, lights change again. Okay, so this is us heading up Hanover Street. Up Hanover Street, ha <laughs> ha. That's George Street there. We're gonna cross over George Street. We can drive down that as well. Uh, right hand side if we went there we would hit the assembly on George Street the gardens that they've created but like I said up and over here we go this is us on the north side of Hanover Street we are gonna go right onto Queen Street and then you can see where the, tr the tram works what state that's currently in but look at that view look at that is that not just a standard looking out over the north of Edinburgh heading towards the Firth of Forth you can just see it peeking over there and then you can see Fife in the distance just outstanding okay so this is us York Place, this is where the tram ends. So you can see a tram on the right hand side. It will be stopping because that's as far as it can go. At least for the time being. So that's it. There's a tram stopping at as far as it can go right now. We are going to continue going down Leith Walk and have a look, see what that's like, see what the tram works are like down there. But you can see, look at all this road works in the middle here. You can still see that the, uh, what do you call it? The tram is now on the right hand side. I don't know if you can see that. The tram has been laid on the right hand side. So it's already been done here, at least just to the immediate right hand side of me. That's the Edinburgh Playhouse in front of us there, in case you weren't sure. We are going to go down Leith. Let's go down Leith Walk. I really hope, because the, the tram works has disrupted Leith Walk twice. The first time they tried to build it, and now this time as well, which thankfully it looks like it's going to finish. But I really, really hope that it's worth it for Leith and Leith Walk. Please, when you come to visit, where this is all open, take a trip down. We might not get all the way down. I don't know how far. Oh no. No, no, no. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. So I'm on the new tram right now. There we go. Oh, look. It's it's actually cleared here now. It looks like they've done really quite a lot here. That's good. I so want this to open up soon. It really needs to open back up. This is going down Leith Walk right now. Leith Walk looks great right now, actually. Now that that's all out the way, it looks great. Some beautiful restaurants and pubs and everything down here. Victoria, the right-hand side there. You got a few of them in town. Uh, but... Look at the colour of the sky with the building. Is that not just beautiful? I have to say... It's so nice to be able to drive down Leith Walk again. So nice to see the place opening up. Look how beautiful it's looking. Like I said, please, once the trams are up and running here, or even forget the trams, get the bus, come down Leith Walk, look at it. Look how good it looks. It's a bit of town with such a unique character. Okay, that's as far as we can go by the looks of it. We're going to have to go left, but that's as far as we can go. Oh, so it's a real shame that we couldn't go all the way down. 
my head. Trying to get to roughly where we were. Um, well, we can't get to where we were, but we'll try to get to the at least down to uh, the end of Leith Walk. Okay, we're going to go right onto Bonnington Road uh, for anyone who's still following on a map. Would you look at the colour of the sky? Is that not outstanding? Beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Okay. So let's go along to the right here. We're gonna go on to Great Junction Street. Changed my mind, changed my mind. Traffic was just chock-a-block there. So this, this will take us down to the docks right down at the shore of Leith and we'll finish there. I know it's been a bit of a random route. Traffic has dictated how, how we've kind of had to move about today. Not the most ideal route to show you, but that doesn't matter. You've got to see about the town. You've got to see what the traffic's like. That's, that's, that's for sure. So this is Parliament Street here. Let's go up to the right. And then go left. Well, it's been a nice wee drive. It's maybe not been the drive I wanted. But I didn't think it was going to be an easy one today because of how the traffic's been. But I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm just going to keep driving. And head through uh, Leith here a little bit. If you have enjoyed that, guys, please leave a comment. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. A massive thank you to everyone who supports Cobbled Street. It's Cobbled Street. A massive thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. You have no idea how much it means. It, I genuinely, and I mean this wholeheartedly, I could not do the channel without Patreon. So if you'd like to support, please click on the link in the description. But... Look after yourselves. Till next time. Bye humans.